Okay, real quick, before this video starts, if you guys enjoy any part of this, subscribing would really help. I put a lot of work into this one, and I made a lot of stylistic changes that I think going forward are going to be insane for this channel. So I really hope you guys enjoy this one. But before we start the video, massive shoutouts to the sponsor of today's video, Rust Raid Tool. If you're anything like me and have not yet memorized every single raid cost in Rust, this one could potentially save your entire wipe. It's a free app that allows you to calculate exactly how much much of any sort of explosive or tools you need to finish breaking any item in rust based off its current durability and it will show you how much it will take to raid no matter what your raid equipment is you can get the app for free on the app store or the google play store today now let's get back to the video We made it. Cargo has been broken but this run is going great. If I can just kill the last people, I'll be able to loot the final crate and get out with everything. wonder how much loot that guy had. He was like trying to pull back up this. Like, I don't think it would be much. Ooh, this guy's gun's been looted. But not the Mets. Might have fallen. Boat's gone already also. No oh, way, we're getting a rads before the crate? Wait, the crate hasn't been activated? No, what? This run was a failure. Winning cargo as a solo through the new harbor was going to be much harder than this. So I grabbed what I could and I ditched the cargo. But how did we get to this point? And just how many runs would it take me to figure out how to win cargo through the new harbor? Well, before we can figure that out, we gotta go back to the start. The very start. I would be joining this server on Force Wipe the very day that this new update came out. And I was gonna have a crazy start. My base location would be as close to the new harbor as possible while also being close to a fishing village so I could check out the new oil rig. The server wiped seconds ago so we are one of the first people in here. All right, this will give us some arrows for a bow. We just need a little bit more cloth. This will be enough for a workbench, scrap-wise. Ooh, guy right here. This guy's got food. Alright, we gotta get over to the base spot. Alright, I think right at the top of this hill is gonna be a perfect spot. Oh my god, look at this. Can I build, like, right over here? Oh, I can. Let's do this. Alright. My start was going good so far, but I decided to gamble it all by bringing my only weapon to the new harbor and checking out what had changed. But little did I know, harbor was going to be a war zone. Oh. This guy's got a bow. Don't know if he's alone or not. Nope, he's not. Ooh, 
Wait, is it three more? Oh no, they're not teamed, okay. Oh my god. How's this guy still alive? Oh my god, he had so much. I'm gonna run with this. How am I alive right now? Oh, I knew coming here would be a good idea. The PvP there is wild right now. We gotta go back. Oh yeah, I see two. Three guys. Four guys on my screen. Five guys on my screen. There's people everywhere. DB? What? Oh, this is where Recycler is, I see. Oh my god. Oh, I got the DB. Oh my god, these guys are stacked. Alright, I'm out with this. Okay, I can easily get a workbench and then like a crossbow together now. Alright, let's go. What a good run. That's even better than the last one. 300 scrap? What? With my start going as well as it was, I decided to take another big risk and full send it to oil rig. Oh, guys, the bows are coming. Ooh, I killed that one. Wait, I see scientists on all four levels. No way we are first on. Rushing oil rig was huge here because if I could get any sort of weapon, it would be extremely useful in attempting to counter the first cargo. Oh, a backpack. Let's go. That is so huge. Oh my god, another backpack. Oh, garage door. No way, dude. We gotta go. We gotta go. Garage door on four swipe. 45 minutes into wipe. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. I cannot believe we just got away with all of this. We can research med syringe also. Like, a lot of good stuff. We didn't get a gun, unfortunately, but this is still an insane run. Let's go! After my return from oil rig, I decided to head back over to harbor and see if there was any lingering action still going on that I could get involved in. This guy's got stuff. Oh, that guy's got a crossbow. Oh, there's more than just one. Dude, these guys have a lot also. Oh my god, man. Everybody's so loaded. This area is unreal.
Okay, we need some wood. Oh, maybe I won't have to farm it. Oh shit, there's a guy with hazmat right here. Oh, it's multiple. I'll try it. Okay, that guy should be dead. Oh my god, there's so many more. There's one left. Oh, they're all dead. I don't want to explore the new harbor. Like, I haven't been to the other side at all. Getting familiar with all of the new additions to harbor was going to be crucial for winning any sort of cargoes. Dude, there's a zip line. That is so cool. Okay, the harbor has gotten a lot quieter though. I'm assuming a lot of people aren't gonna come over here until cargo comes out. So for now, I think I'm gonna go try to run airfield. Oh, there's a kitty guy over here. Oh, he had a crossbow nail gun. Oh, he had large furnace, what? He must have got that from airfield. Let's get syringe as well. All right. Wait, there's a tug right there. I wonder if I could go deep on that. Wait, hold up. Yeah, just saw him swim away. Aw, uh, well... Hello, it's here? I fucked up. <laughs> hello, hello. Um... What? He just opened? Oh! How did that work? Oh my god, there's no way, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Why would he just open the door like that? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, that's enough scrap for a tier two. This is just scripted. Alright, I'm gonna go check out Airfield. Oh, somebody's in the hangar. Oh, there's two. Dude, how's he alive?
Oh my god. Keep this fight in mind. It'll come back for a weird reason later. Solo cheat on fucking Rust, bro. That's what you do. <laughs> you think I'm cheating? Links with a compliment. Cargo's coming. All right, where's it coming from? Ooh, it's coming right this way. Okay, perfect. Let me get a kit together. Okay, I'm gonna go to the opposite side. I think I can beat everybody there. So this bridge is gonna move, I'm assuming? To let it in? I have no idea like what crates are gonna get picked up, so I guess we'll wait to do that next time. But there are ways to like just run on it, I've seen, so we'll just try one of those. Alright, look at this. Damn, that shot at me right away. Oh my god, it's right here. I'm hopping on. Wait, there's still scientists on. But all the crates have been looted. Alright, it's a full stop now. This guy right here. Dude, no way! I didn't think he was on already. Alright, we can come back. We can come back. It's gonna be here for a while. Dude, somebody just camping that with a pump. Oh my god. Okay, we're on. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, there's just nothing I can do against these bumpies, man. Unfortunately, this first run was a total fail. After losing my DB on the first attempt, I was kind of just coming back with bows and getting outclassed. But it was useful to learn the general layout of the harbor and how that interacts with the cargo pulling in. So at the very least, this was a good learning experience and I would come to this next cargo even more prepared. But cargo only comes once every three hours and with a pretty busy schedule, I was going to end up missing quite a bit of cargoes this wipe. So for now, I got back to work on my progression, and it was getting fairly late, so I made sure to add some extra honey coming to my base and complete my bunker before calling it for the night. Okay, and these need to be armored, and then I need to break this. Alright, well, I'm gonna seal the bunker and call it for the night. I know it was a very short day, but I didn't have too much time to play today. We did get our base down, and we got one attempt at the harbor cargo counter. But we didn't really have, like, any good weapons to do it with. So tomorrow, hopefully, next time it comes around, we'll actually have some guns or something. But yeah, that's gonna be it for day one. I'm gonna be on early, early tomorrow. So we should be able to get a big head start tomorrow morning. Alright, well, I'm gonna seal this bunker, and I will see you guys tomorrow.
Alright guys, it's day two. Doesn't look like anybody killed us here. Let's see if our base is still alive though. Ooh, we still building privilege. Okay, I think we're good then. Just check out the area real quick. Oh, wow. There are some new bases. Yeah, I'm just gonna get right to it. We're gonna get some farming done for the day. I have class soon, so I'm only gonna play for like an hour, hour and a half or something like that. Let's get to it. Okay, there's a couple people here. This guy's got a hazmat. Oh my god. Dude, it's two satchels. Let's go. He actually hit me with that, man. We could do raids with these, though. These are huge. Can't believe this guy just came with a cleaver. That is such a good find. Alright, let's go. All right, let's go. What a good airdrop. All right, let's get satchel and bean can research before I log off here. All right, well, I'm gonna log off for a little bit. I will be back after class. Hopefully nothing happens while I'm gone. Oh, cargo's out. Wait, why are the boxes under it? It might come to this harbor. Alright, we're definitely contesting this. Okay, it looks like scientists are cleared out, so there's definitely people on. I'm gonna go to the other side. Oh my god, I can't. It's turning. Maybe we could go get on top of those things. Because I have the M39, which is good at range. Alright, let's see. How do you board from this? What the hell? You go up this ladder, okay? Oh, this is sick. Okay, I don't see anybody, like, jumping on or anything. But there's definitely people on because one of the crates has been looted. And all the scientists are dead. Oh my god, this is moving! What the hell? Okay, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I don't see anybody. Okay, there's a couple- Okay, oh, okay, there's a group over there. Yeah, there's two kitted guys right there. They could have weapons. Oh, they're swimming up. Okay, I killed one. He's gonna get picked up, though. Oh my god, I'm getting shot at. Dude, I where am I getting shot from? A fucking suppressor? Dude, I'm getting suppressored? Really? 100 meter HLMG suppressor kill. I, like, fell. I don't... <laughs> that angle is so awkward for me. I've never, like, gone on that thing before. It was probably the people who are already on cargo. Damn. You see if I can get back there. They might not be able to loot my kit. See, this is where I fucked up, falling on this ladder. I didn't catch it. Oh, my M39 fell? Really? No. How do I get down from here, man? Dude, like, is there no way down when you fall here? Like, is that the best way down? Really? Okay, I could wrap this crate. Oh, there's a guy close. No, dude. I wouldn't have beaten that gun no matter what, though. There's no way. So I kind of blew this run. I actually had a good weapon and could have pulled this off. But positioning myself on top of that crane in the middle of the open was way too aggressive for a solo player. I would need to spend much more time riding around and trying to clean up the ends of the fight rather than starting these big battles on my own. Well, it was a good try. I learned that I will never approach the cargo from those yellow crates. That is the worst angle possible. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a tunnels run. We need some components pretty badly. Oh my god, a bed and a battery from one box. That is crazy. All 
Alright, good little farm run here. There's a revolver over here. Not the best gun, but it'd be a slight upgrade to what I'm roaming with. Oh, I downed him. Oh, this guy didn't have a revolver. This guy has one. Nope. Just gonna leave with this, I think. Alright, we can go research this. Now we have a gun. Not the best weapon, but it's something. Get this researched. God damn, I suck right now. This got a lot. I can make so much gunpowder with all this. Yeah, two and a half thousand. So we're definitely close to what we need for a big raid. I think I actually have more sulfur that cooked, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna have over 3,000 gunpowder. Okay, that's easily enough for a raid then. And this is where something pretty awkward happens. Remember when I said to remember that random bow fight? Well, pretty much I started roaming and found myself in that exact same scenario against another player with a semi. And this time, since I had the revolver, I hit the first crossbow shot and then finished him off with the revolver and won the fight. But I wasn't recording this. Guys, I just realized I wasn't recording and I just got our first gun. That is so dumb, man. That's like the worst thing that can happen. All right, well, I'm gonna research the semi. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that hard for me to get my first semi anymore, so it's not that big of a deal. Somebody's getting lit up in Arbor. I need to go check that out. Oh my god, he was farming. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Just a full backpack of farm and he's getting shot at by heli. Over time, I had been crafting up lots of satchels and it was now time to do my first raid. Okay, this is the one I was looking at earlier. It's like two floors. Which one do I go into though? I don't know what the hell this design is. It's so weird. Right, I think I'm gonna hit this. All right. One left, wow. Nine went off, that is crazy luck. All right, let's see, yep, TC. Who we guessed right. Oh, AK? Dude, what is that? I get AK countered? I'm just dead. Like, I'm just dead, man. Wow. Right at the last second. What are the chances of that, man? This counter was just kind of unlucky, but I crafted up another semi and headed back over to see if there was anything I could salvage from this raid. Dude, can I get a tool? He comes out with a fucking spear. Wait, he left it open! What? Oh, dude, we got it all. Where's this AK? Oh my god, we got the AK. I'm running! There's no way he just made a mistake that big. Oh my god, dude! That might be the biggest fumble I've ever witnessed. How does he just mess that up like that? Okay, we're going right back. I don't like what? 
Oh my god, man, the loot was insane also. Like, it was actually a good raid. Okay, I'm going back. Oh, this is him. <laughs> he came back without even a full mag, man. <laughs> oh my god. You could tell he just raced back and he's just been standing here in disbelief the entire time. Yeah, I'm gonna research Thompson also. Just another easy gun we can craft. Alright, good low grade run to harbor. I then headed over to counter a massive rocket raid that I heard in the distance. Oh, that guy just spotted me for sure. This is gonna be hard. No way! Ooh, a boat spawned in. Wait, we could take that to a rig then. Oh, Lars just got called in. I'm definitely gonna have to get on after this. Ooh, we could try the new thing. I just remembered. I was thinking in my head it's gonna be hard to get on, but we could try the new, like, underwater entrance. Alright, let's swim it. Alright, I can see the new entrance, I think. Somebody else swimming. That is not good. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to do it silently. Are there people fighting? I don't think all the heavies are dead yet. Oh, there's AKs on helipad? Really? There's heavies still walking around and there's an AK on helipad. I don't understand. The oil rig run did not work out, but instead I gathered up all my components and decided to head over to Outpost to do a massive recycle run. Dude, I don't even care about his loot, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, nice little run here. Now let's buy some wood. Alright. And we got 33,000 wood from that. That is perfect. Okay, let's head home. Alright, let's go. What a good run. And before I knew it, cargo was out and it was time for another attempt at winning it. Ooh, there's one. Okay, there's one at the very top I see up there. Okay, I think I just heard one jumping on the front. Maybe I could drop one before I get on. Ooh, I see one right in there. Oh my god, there's so many. Dude, oh my god, that angle is so bad. Okay, there's at least three of these guys. Bro, what is this? I'm getting camped. I just want to go to cargo. Okay, they need to actually push for it if we want anything to happen here. I'm going to go after them. No, dudes. Like, fight the guys on cargo. I want the wide flank or something. Dude, there's just one camping here. If I can just board and then hide, we'd be set. This guy up top sees me. Dude, I can't even get close. Dude, like these guys up top actually know how to play. It's gonna leave, man. Oh my god. 
Like, look, these kids are still just sitting up top. Dude, I can't get on in time. After this, I took a break, and when I came back, Cargo was already back out, so maybe it was time for me to redeem myself. Oh yeah, there's AKs. There's two up top, and there was one in the front here. Jeez, how do I get past those two up top? I might just hit the full send on this guy in the front. Dude, what? Oh my god, dude, there's no way. What are the chances of that? This is so hard to do as a solo. Like, it's still so easy for them to just hold it down from the very top. I just had no timing to push. Like, how does he slip past all these guys on the top just peeking over? Is that guy dead? Yeah, dude, there's no way up. It's just like a massive, like, five-man group or something. Dude, like, what am I supposed to do? These guys are so bad also. They are so bad, and I can't even get close to them. Once again, another failure. At this point, though, I was hooked. I was going to come back to every single cargo until I could eventually win one of them. Alright, I'm on. What? Wait, it's just a naked up here? Wait, did that guy have all the loot then? This guy had a lot, but I don't think this is all the loot. Dude, is that guy cheating? How could he see me? I can't even see his head. I I don't know, man. <laughs> what is that? I didn't have any flippers or anything to swim. Oh, it's not looted. And he's just holding the body. Like, what is that? Yeah, they finally looted it. Jesus. He left the MP5 though. And he's still holding. It's. I'm gonna lose my mind, man! Okay, the MP5's still here. Thank God we got something out of this. All that suffering. For the next cargo, I had a bit of a different strategy. This time, instead of approaching from land, I would approach from the sea. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get underground early. Oh, I just made it on. That's one player dead. No, I got flanked. Oh my god, man. Come on.
Oh, his gun fell though. Oh, he's got more. Yeah, there's more. No way, dude! So close, I just mispeeked there. Alright, well, I think we're first on. There's probably gonna be other people to get on right now, though. Okay, yeah, somebody else is on. I haven't heard any gunshots back though. That's still on land though. Shit, I probably need to kill him there. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, all three crates are below. There's one. Dude, there's a lot of other people on. I'm gonna take this kit. No way, dude. Oh my god. There's so many people on. Dude, please. Let me up. Dude, it's not letting me up. I want to swim around to the other side. Nope. They have AKs, fuck. Dude. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to fight these two. Dude, why? <laughs> Oh, we made it. Wait, the crate hasn't been activated? No, what? No. Dude, are you kidding me? There's AKs waiting here? Dude, I'm getting L9'd. Okay, I'm just gonna hide in this and wait for red crate. Dude, there's so much action here. Like, at least five people. He's in here. Full sending. Me up. No, dude. This is a joke. Wait, I think this guy left it. I think it's just me on here. With so many failed runs, I finally had a chance to loot this crate. It seemed like I was the last person on board cargo. No. No. I'm going down with the ship. We need to win this crate once. But in the end, I couldn't even beat an empty ship. Let me at least see what I would have gotten. <laughs> it 
was a beautiful crate. Oh my god. I couldn't ask for better. If this video was me versus Cargo, then Cargo definitely won this challenge. At my current skill level, even with so many attempts, I wasn't able to fully beat Cargo once. But that's just for now. I'll be back in the future, and maybe then Cargo won't even stand a chance. Now we go down with the ship.